Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we'll be seeing how to add a background image in Unity. Now this is an empty 2D scene. If you select the main camera, you have an option to change the background color, but there's no option to add a background image. There are different ways in which you can set the background in Unity. The simplest way is using the UI canvas. So in this tutorial, we'll be seeing how to use the UI canvas to add a background image to your camera. So the first step is to import your background image. So here I have imported a background image. So you have to set the texture type to Sprite 2D and UI. The next step is to add a UI image to your scene. So let's just go to UI image. Let's call it background. Now let's also rename the canvas to background canvas. The reason we are renaming the canvas also is you cannot use this canvas for UI images. Now if you go to the scene view, you can see that the image is just a part of the canvas. So we want the background image to actually cover the whole area of the canvas. So select the background image, go to the anchor settings and select stretch on the vertical and stretch on the horizontal side. So now the anchors of the background image will be in the corners of the canvas but still our image is small. So what you need to do is just set the margins to zero, left, top, bottom, and right. So now the image has completely filled the canvas. We'll also add some foreground image so that we'll know that the background is on the back or is in the foreground. So we have added a slot and an X. So now if we go to the game view, you can see that the background is in the front and we are not able to see the game objects. To change this, just select the canvas and in the render mode, select screen space camera. Once you select that, you have to assign a camera to it. So we'll just drag our main camera and assign it to it. So now you have something called as a plane distance. So if the plane distance is the distance of the background from the camera, so if any of your foreground object is not visible, you can increase this distance value. Now you can just go to your background image and assign any source image of your choice. So in our case, we'll just assign the background image. So the background image is now visible. Now this will work for both 2D and 3D. For example, if you switch the main camera from orthographic to perspective, and if you go to the scene, you can see that the camera is now in the perspective view. And in the game, so still the background is visible. So it doesn't matter if it is a 3D game or a 2D game, this method will work for both. Only thing, if you want to add a UI image, you have to create another canvas. So you can just go to uh, hierarchy, click on the plus sign and just say UI and say canvas. And any UI element that you want to add, you have to add it to this canvas and the canvas render mode should be screen space overlay. So if you're planning to create a parallax or a scrolling background, then this method will not work because you want the background to actually move. So you have to set it as a game object. So this is a separate tutorial for that. And we also have an asset so we, which you can download for free. So the link for that is in the description. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.